hi guys welcome to the next video lecture on Python data essential training you can use multivariate outlier detection methods to identify outliers that emerge from a combination of two or more variables there are many different multivariate methods to detect outliers we are going to pick up where we left off in the last video with the box plots and then I'm going to introduce how to use scatter plot matrices to find outliers. The first thing we will look at is using box plots. For this coding demonstration, we are going to need pandas. You are also going to use matplotlib and seaborn. So let's import all of those and set the parameters for data visualizations in this Jupyter notebook. We will copy in our standard parameters than like in the last section. You are going to use the iris.dataset so I will copy and paste that in. And let's create now a box plot from that same data set. We are going to use seaborn so we will call this seaborn's box plot function sb.boxplot and we will say x is going to equal our species column and y is going to be our sample length column. Our data is the df data frame and again the palette will be hls. Now here I want to point out two things. One is that we are plotting sample link against species. So we are actually plotting two variables in one box plot and when we do that an outlier falls out. This point down here past the whiskers in the Virginica species would be considered suspicious as being an outlier. You can also use scatter plot matrices to find out outliers. outliers. So again we will use seaborn and we will call the pair plot function this time. And we will pass in our data frame. This time we will say that uh, we want the hue to be species. So we want the data points to be colored according to their species label. And we will use our old faithful plenty of HLS and print this out. Okay, so this is a really pretty little scatter plot matrix. Let me show you how you can find outliers. You already know that our sepal width variable is suspect for outliers. If you look at each of the scatter plot matrices, there is an odd red point that does not fit in any of the clusters. And so I added a circle to that and I pulled it up from the data table and that's actually record 47. So I just jot that down and I keep it in mind to investigate whether that's an outlier and it needs to be removed. In the next video I am going to show you that depth scan method I was telling you about.